Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to another exciting video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the depth map filter within Photoshop, within the neural filters, to create haze and fog that you can use in your car shots, people shots, street shots, any kind of shots. But before moving forward, I would like to announce the photographer of the week and that's Tom Bateman. The 7K followers doesn't give Tom justice. This figure should be 70K. I mean, look at his amazing work. Look at the sick roller. I don't know, something is wrong with the algorithm and I think we should be able to help him to reach. Okay, let's start with the 10 and then move it to the 70. So if you're not following Tom, please go ahead and do that. I do have a collaboration with Tom. It's an old video. I'll leave a link to it somewhere here. Make sure to check it out. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about in my last live video, the guys have suggested that I do some kind of critique where you guys send over your shots that I'm going to review and give feedback on them. So why don't we give it a try? Send your shots to audigrid at gmail.com. I'm going to display it somewhere here just to avoid all the bots. And please don't get upset if I did not select your photo to review it. I will be very selective. So if your shot did not come through, try again with some different shot. Now to give credit where credit is due, I learned this method by watching this video from Nucle. And I really recommend you guys have a look at it because he also teaches you how to give your shots a bit of depth and dimension. I'll leave a link to this video in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Guys, it's very important for you to like and comment so we can reach massive audience. And this is a very good way to support the channel. Now that we are in Photoshop, this was shot about a couple of weeks ago. If you want to know more about how I shot it and how I edited this shot, I'll leave a link somewhere up above here or in the description below. Make sure to check it out as well. So now that we are here, we are going to create a stamp visible layer. And from there, I'm going to filters and then I'm going to go to neural filters. Now this filter might not be there by default. So you want to download it and then enable it. So we will be ignoring all of this and we're going to click on output depth map only and it's going to create this layer. And now I'm pretty sure you understand what's going to happen the haze was going to affect the brighter area and is going to fade away the darkest area areas. So let's click OK. You can output it on the same layer or output it in a new layer. I'm going to click OK. All right, so now we have this and all what we have to do is change the blending mode from normal to screen. And now we have the fog just everywhere. Now we need to control it. And to control it, we're going to use a curve layer. And now we're going to assign this curve layer to the layer below it, lock it up to it so it doesn't affect the entire shot, only the fog or haze layer. And we are going to move um, the shadows to the right and you can you know, start seeing the haze fades back. So if we put this into normal you'll see that the gray area is turning darker when we move this slider and and if we put this back to the screen you can start seeing the haze in the back great now we can do also the same thing with the highlights so i don't want it maybe to affect the sky a lot i just wanted to add some haze in the back it's going to be something like this. And if I do the before, after, that's great. You can control it further. You can bring it down, you can take it to the back and you can control this with the opacity as well. So for me, I always like very subtle adjustments. I don't want to do drastic changes and it's going to be something like that maybe or even less, like something like that, great. Amazing. This is the before. This is the after. You can also add a, a mask to that layer and start, you know, painting out whatever, you know, if let's say you don't want this, you can grab a brush, go to black and start painting this area and remove it just on an example. So let's remove this. You can also change the color of that haze. So if we go to the RGB and select blue, because we wanted to add a bit of yellowish, if we go up, it's going to be very blue. And we don't want that. We are going to go down. 
somewhere around here and it's gonna give it that yellowish so of course you don't want to go all the way we just want to add just a bit of color like so let's have a look at the before and after before after before after very simple very effective way and i think it makes a difference because it builds up gradually using the depth blur so what the software is doing or Photoshop is doing is calculating the depth and by that is gradually being added to your shots. All right, so we have reached the end of this video. Now, if you have any question, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.